My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Folks, we have a rare find. This is a Survivor 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Again, Survivor. This is original, folks. The paint, the top, the interior. So it could use uh, a little help. You know, interior's got some splits in it, but that's Survivor. They're only original once. So there are people that just eat this stuff up. They love the original muscle cars. Uh, or it could be a, an amazing contender for a restoration because you're starting with a complete car that's really in fantastic condition. And when you're done, you know what you're going to have? The most gorgeous charger there is. Red, white interior, white top. It was born that way, obviously. It has the number matching 440 motor, power steering, power brakes, factory air conditioning, bucket seats with the console. This thing is amazing. The colors and options are off the chart. You get the chargers, a lot of green, a lot of brown color, but again, red and white, 440, air, steering brakes, Survivor. I'm sure there's not another one on the planet like this one. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs and study the pictures. Uh, and that's where you'll find price tags on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, let's go for a spin. Yeah, they are only original once. And there are some flaws in it. There's several flaws, but it's all there rock solid rust free southern car it's lived in tennessee and again it just pops it's sharp you go to a car show or cruise night and you put on an unrestored survivor people are going to love it they're not going to point at you and say oh what what a pile of crap you got there they're going to think that's cool you can restore a car hundreds of times you can never make them original again Anyway, the underside is original. So no, it's not all glossy and detailed. It's original, but I'll tell you, it's rock solid. The floor pans, the rockers, the braces, even up behind the rear tire where the little drain plugs are, where they always rust, rock solid, original metal. Uh, original 323 gear in the eight and three quarter rear end. Still has an assembly line marking on it. Uh, it has a 727. Uh, automatic transmission uh, and again the original 440 motor there's been maintenance over the years I'm sure the shocks have been replaced and a couple bushings uh, you know, a couple miscellaneous things have been replaced uh, but all in all it's a very original underside I'm trying to remember as we're talking here if it had disc brakes yes it does have disc brakes in front as well and the RTs come with a little heavier duty suspension uh, so the body We'll start right here. All this lines up real nice and square. It's got the turn signals in the hood. This fits real nice. Got the rubber filler panel. The bumper is a little worn, but not uh, rusty or beat up. Uh, the grill looks to be in really nice shape. It's not broken. It's just a little faded. Marker lights real nice. Everything's square, nice, fits real good. No issues, all nice. Original antenna. Windshield's crystal clear. I'm going to guess that's been replaced because it's awfully clear. Uh, the stainless moldings around everything are shiny and straight. Door handle just says gentle wear. Got the RT scoop here. So yeah, bodies and it's got door ding type of dents all around it, but no accidents or damage. Uh, this is all nice and straight and fits nice. The rear window's crystal clear too, and maybe that is the original windshield, I don't know. Uh, there is a dent in the back bumper right here. Uh, tail light lens, I don't see any cracks. Gas caps, real nice shape, little freckling, but real nice. The vinyl top is dried up and split up pretty good. It was a Southern car. Got the white stripe, the original stripe that it came with. 
The wheels are new. They're 15 inch rally wheels with BF Goodrich tires. Uh, those were put on in the last few years. They are not the originals from the car. Uh, the mirror is nice. Yeah, so the exterior, again, very presentable. From a restoration standpoint, this would be easy peasy uh, to fix this car. You're not hanging quarters and hunting down any parts. It's all there and it is solid. Uh, so why don't we open it up? We'll check out inside. All right, let's see what an original trunk looks like. You got the original paint and sticker, the original weather stripping, actually still in good shape for its age. You have the original trunk mat. It's stained and dirty and has a couple splits in it. All rock solid trunk underneath it. Original quarters, original paint in here. Uh, you do have a spare, and then you have the complete jack assembly, even the lug wrench. You might have noticed a few extra parts in here, like they replaced the master cylinder, the original ones in the box, just a few little miscellaneous odds and ends. Now, it's mostly original paint on the car. Uh, I think this panel was repainted because it looks like there's a little overspray in the jam from that panel. Uh, so there might have been a little touch up here and there, but it is mostly the original paint. I just think of what this car would look like if a, a restoration was done to it. What a knock. It's a knockout the way it is. But uh, if you chose to go ahead and restore it, man, this thing would be killer. And then there's people cringing right now saying, no, don't restore it. Leave it original. So you got... You got two sides of the fence there, and this one could go either way. Leave it original. There's probably not another charger in the world like this one. I'm sure there's not. So overall, that stuff there looks pretty good. There's a couple little wrinkles around the armrest. The dash area is nice. It's not cut up or broken or beat up. Uh, it's got the rally gauges. Uh, I noticed the clock is working. Original AM radio, all the air conditioning controls, the vents, the wood grain, the dash pad. This all looks real nice. Glove box. You do have a center console. The uh, lights are working. It's even the original carpet on the floor. There's about 110,000 miles in the car, so it's been used, uh, but you know it's it's original. So the seat does have a hole in the seat right there, and it's a little discolored. It's it's original. It's a white interior that's over 50 years old. Back seats and well, it's got a split down here on the front, but you can tell it's not beat up. Oh yeah, there's a split under the seat belt. Glad I just seen that. I knew about that, but I forgot. Headliner, good. There's some little holes in it. The trim around the inside of the back window is deteriorated. All the seat belts are here. They're in good shape. It's original weather strips around the car. Now this is the number match 440 motor. Factory air conditioner, power steering, power brakes, complete air cleaner with the heat riser tube. Got the shroud. The washer bottle, it's got, got some cracks in it, but it's all here, all the AC component parts are all hooked up. Alternator looks fresh. Horns are here. Now, unfortunately, it's raining out, so we're not going to start this one today, but uh, maybe we'll post a video uh, later of it running or ask the salesman. They'll gladly do a walk around video of it running if you're interested in buying it. So I guess I'm going to ask the question. You can leave your replies. Do you restore it or do you leave it original? Again, they, they don't make them original anymore. This is it. But either way, 
The combination is what really makes this car. It's not brown, it's not a 383, it's not a bench seat with the shifter on the column. I mean, the colors, the options, the 440, air conditioning, it's got so many great things going for it, whether you left it just the way it is, or fixed a few things on it, or did a complete rotisserie restoration, any way you cut it, it's an amazing uh, Dodge Charger. Oof, it's a lot of metal. So there you have it. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to speak with the salespeople. Give them your questions or concerns. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get it financed. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.